Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Pampi Morandanti again and today I will talk about logarithms and exponentials. Okay? Here we go! Today, we study the inverse of exponential functions. And what do you think is the inverse of exponential functions? That is the logarithmic functions. Now, let A be the positive number with A not equal to 1. The logarithmic function with base A, denoted by this form, is defined by the log of x to the base b is to the equal base to one. a i mean okay? that's how you read that the log of x to the base a is equal to y and take note this is equal to in exponential form a to the power of y is equal to x to explain further let's have this okay i have two things here with me the exponential form and the logarithmic form what I'm going to show you today is how are we going to represent them mathematically, okay? To start with, I have here the exponential form, which is a to the power of y is equal to x. That's how you read that. And take note of that, the inverse of exponential form is the logarithmic form. That's how you write it, okay? Remember that one. Now, here in exponential form, y is the exponent. Look at it, okay? And then the base is a. And here in the logarithmic form, look at the exponent, which is y, and the base, which is a. y here is now the equivalent of the logarithm, okay? So look at here, a is still the base. You read this one as the log of x to the base a is equal to y. But y here is equal to the log, okay? It's equal to the logarithm. So I hope that's clear. That's how you differentiate the two, okay? Now, listen carefully. The logarithmic and exponential forms are equivalent equations. If one is true, then so is the other. So we can switch from one form to the other as in following the illustrations. Look at this. The logarithmic form and the exponential form. I have here an example. The log of 100 to the base the log 10 is of 1,000, I mean. That is equal to 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 1,000, okay? Now, another example. The log of 16 to the base 2 is equal to 4. Then in exponential form, that is 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16, okay? Last example here, look at this. The log of 1, 8 to the base 2 is equal to negative 3. And that is equal to 2 to the power of negative 3 is equal to 1, 8, Okay? Let's do the following exercises on changing exponential to logarithm or vice versa. So number one, I have here log of 25 to the base 5 is equal to 2. Just simply the base here is 2. So the equivalent of log the base here is, is 5, I mean. Okay, so that's how you do number one. Number two, I'll just do it directly. So that's 8 to the power of 1 third is equal to 2. Okay, number three is different. This is from... Um, exponential and we are going to change it into logarithm so here we go remember that the exponent uh, here will be the equivalent of logarithm so therefore the log of 1 8 is to the base 2 rather is equal to negative 3 and here you should just simply write 3 first you can just put equal sign and then there you go you can write the log of 343 is to the base 7 or whichever you are comfortable with to work on it as long as you are giving the correct answer then that's it okay so that's the introductory part of logarithms up next is the basic properties of logarithms thank you so much for watching bye